All right, guys. It is currently storming in the background. So I figured that, may that might be pretty good backdrop for my new, I don't know if you'd call this a series or just new kind of episode. It's going to be where I compare, it's going to be my voice in the background and I'm going to compare different kinds of snakes with pictures. And you guys know from this episode, the day that I posted that, okay, I found a baby northern water snake, three of them to be exact. And I wanted to compare baby northern water snake to an adult northern water snake with the cotton mouth and the copper head and a couple other different snakes that I might have pictures of. So, if you guys are ready, I'm going to have a couple cuts in between the pictures to kind of explain what I, what's going on there. So, if you guys are ready, let's dive in. Alright guys, to get started with this, this is a, a little young copperhead I found road cruising one night. You can see the difference in patterning and color than the uh, water snake. It's an orange color with some triangle patterning or saddleback going down its back and we're gonna move to the next picture in a minute there we go that's the uh, water snake you can see it's a little bit grayer in coloration got a black pattern more of a squarish triangle pattern going down its back instead of just a full-up saddleback and we move to the next picture that's the little black that young black rat snake I caught you can see its pattern is gray and brown kind of with a black but it's more of a spotted pattern it's not it's not uh, kind of like a saddleback it's more of a spotted See if we can compare it to the uh, water snake. I have some descriptions down in the uh, video, some words to tell how I got that snake and what I caught it or whatever I caught it. Picture coming up, this cotton mouth. I didn't uh, actually see this one. I just got this one off the internet to kind of show you what an adult cotton mouth looks like. You see they have no patterning, just maybe a faint one. They're really dark, really brown. And besides, we don't have them around here, so that's one way you can tell in uh, northern south carolina and here's a little young one and they really look like if you find find a red uh northern water snake this one really looks like that kind of snake because it has that patterning going down its back and it's all red and orange and kind of kind of a kind of a tan color looks kind of like a copperhead and here's the adult copperhead i mean not copperhead i'm sorry the adult uh water snake i caught in maggie valley so that's really cool all right, I kind of had to uh, stretch out this little clip. Cause I'm sorry for the cut. And I'm going to have some more snakes coming up. All right, so we're reaching the end of the video, and I have this adult copperhead. I didn't find this one either, but I just want to show you see how the patterning is kind of like that. And I hope you all enjoyed this first episode of Picture Episodes. So see you guys next time. All right, so I'm back in my room, and I just got done filming that picture episode. And I hope you enjoyed the picture episode. And if you want me to make more picture episodes, just write down in the comments if you like it. Sorry, camera slipped. And uh, like I said, these episodes, I really take time in trying to make them. I try to make them as accurate as possible. And they're not scripted out. This was not scripted out. I, this is just totally impromptu. So, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next adventure.